The Johns Hopkins Center to Eliminate Cardiovascular Health Disparities was established about five years ago and um, largely to respond to the disparities that we know exist in health in Baltimore and to try to address the specific factors that contribute the most to those disparities. Our mission is to promote equity in health and health care for underserved and at-risk populations through advancing scientific knowledge, training scholars, engaging and partnering with communities, raising public awareness of health inequities, and advocating for changes in clinical practice and policy. Our center uses a conceptual model that is called the ecological model. And what that does is it considers the complex interactions among individual behaviors, um, among um, relationships, community and societal factors and organizational factors and how they all influence health. So the center is organized into three cores as well as three studies. So we have three multi-level intervention studies that test interventions that address multiple levels of our ecological model. The 5 plus nuts and beans trial is a randomized trial uh, testing the effect of a dietary intervention on outcomes of increasing consumption of fruits and vegetables and lowering blood pressure in African Americans with hypertension uh, recruited from a community-based uh, clinic. Well, the, the design of the trial uh, was focusing on, um, on access to fresh fruits, vegetables, nuts and beans. These are foods that are high in potassium and potassium is associated with better blood pressure control, high potassium, better blood pressure control. And um, our intention was to have people shift uh, their eating patterns to a healthier diet, and in the end we did accomplish that. Red Chip is a project that uh, is intended to help reduce hypertension in specific populations here in the Baltimore area. So it stands for reducing disparities and controlling hypertension in primary care. Here in Baltimore and everywhere, we know that our African American patients tend to have uh, hypertension at higher rates and also that it's uh, less well controlled. There have been numerous studies that show that blood pressures measured in real world settings are often uh, incredibly inaccurate and oftentimes overestimate how high the uh, blood pressure truly is and, and could lead to potential overtreatment if, uh, if the numbers were taken at face value. And so what we did was we introduced three things to the uh, practices. Uh, the first is we provide them with an automated blood pressure measurement device. The second is that we taught them uh, the recommended ways to position patients. And third, we followed up with the practices to help them overcome any barriers that were unique to their particular settings. Once we've taken care of uh, getting an accurate blood pressure measurement, then we need to help the patient manage their care uh, within their own time when they're not seeing a physician. So we have a team of a registered dietitian and pharmacist who work with the patient to talk about whether they're being inherent with their own medications and you know what kinds of foods they're eating at home and so on. Then the third piece or intervention is uh, adding assistance to the provider to help the provider give the best possible advice to the patient. The ACT study, um, Achieving Control Together, has been really great uh, at, at East Baltimore Medical Center and what we really find it's helped with is engagement of patients and their families when applicable in their care. We, one of the biggest challenges we find in our inner city population is how to engage patients and, uh, and um, regard to their medical conditions and blood pressure is one of those, uh, as they call it, silent killers. Our patients often don't want to acknowledge it um, until it's too late. So this, this project has really helped uh, patients engage on this healthcare topic, which is really important. Community participatory research principles um, include um, the consideration that community members ought to be involved completely in the research process. Everyone's voice is very, very important. We all see things in different perspectives, and this way with the community involvement, we all get a chance to uh, give input to relevancies of what's going on in our communities throughout uh, Baltimore City. 
So it's important to train the next generation of researchers in the science of health disparities so that we can make sure that they're adequately um, tooled to design research studies that can um, develop effective interventions to reduce um, health disparities. So I think that when it comes to mentorship in any career, and specifically in academia, it is the key to what will make a person successful. And for me, I have had wonderful mentorship as a faculty member here at Johns Hopkins. Um, I think that the most important thing that I've learned is that everyone brings a valuable and unique perspective to the table. And I think that the most successful health disparities researchers are those who are able to sort of leverage these unique gifts and talents from others while also helping everyone to feel important and to feel valued in their experiences. And fortunately, we have a central director who's just absolutely brilliant at doing this. And I've been really learning a lot about how to manage different stakeholders. You know, the reason I came to Johns Hopkins was actually for the center. Um, and I say that because I think there are actually very, although there's, for, for decades, there has been research identifying that disparities exist. and we know that uh, minority populations don't receive the care they should. Um, I feel that the center was doing some bold work in saying, this research exists, but now we're going to actually try to come up with practical solutions that can be implemented in the clinical setting. What we're doing here in the center to eliminate cardiovascular health disparities at Johns Hopkins is actually relevant to a lot of other problems around the world and um, you know, it's certainly my hope that others can use a lot of what we've learned and apply them into, in their unique situations.